Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm really excited to introduce my new project pan project for the rest of the year, and it's also a collab. I'm going to be doing a finish six by Solstice with Angela Pennington. She doesn't have a channel here on YouTube, but she does have an Instagram page that she posts all of her panning info on, so I will link that down below. I'll also throw a picture up if you want to check her out. She also came up with the name finish six by Solstice, so I I thought that was just a really cute name and I thought it would be a perfect like follow-up project to my finish five by fall that went so well. So before we jump into what products I'm going to be using for this, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like these seasonal project pans. And I hope if you have it and you'd like to, you consider subscribing, hitting that little bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. So I've got my six products picked out. I'm gonna go ahead and start with a primer. This is the Burberry Fresh Glow Luminous Fluid Base in number one nude radiance. It's a little bit hard to show with the cap on just because it's so reflective, but this is what it looks like. I looked into the bottle and I'm approximately right down to here. It's a little bit hard to see on camera, but if I hold it up to the light, I can see through the bottle and my product is right down here. I originally fell in love with this product when I got a sample of it and just I was blown away. It felt beautiful. It was an amazing primer, one of the best I tried. And then I bought the full size and it wasn't the same. I didn't know if I was going crazy or not, but it was one of the first like luxury products, definitely the first product from Burberry I had ever bought. So I kept it and I kept using it. It's a nice primer, but definitely not as nice as what I remember the sample being. So I do have another sample of this. I have a little tiny sample bottle and at some point during this project I will be comparing that sample to this in like a half and half face battle just so I can convince myself either I'm going crazy and I don't remember it right or there is something different between the sample and the full size. <laughs> The next product I want to pan by the Solstice, which I don't think I mentioned what dates this is. So this is going to go up October 5th. This project will end during the winter solstice, which is December 21st. I personally like the idea of doing something around the solstice just because my birthday is the 22nd. So it's like right after the solstice. Sometimes, I know some years it'll fall onto the 22nd, but more often than not, it's on the 21st of December. This will be finishing like the day before my birthday. <laughs> So anyway, moving on to the foundation I want to pan. I really want to pan the Dior Air Flash Foundation, and I have the shade 201. I want to pan this because I've been afraid of using this foundation because A, it was really expensive, and B, I like it. And it's unique, and it's easy to apply, and there's so many things about this that I like it that I've been avoiding using it for the same reasons I was avoiding using that Too Faced foundation that I really liked. Mainly that I really liked it, and it was expensive. I need to get over that. If I have, you know, higher-end luxury products in my collection, I need to use them. I can't just have them out on display or say like, oh, I don't want to finish it because what if I like it and I have to rebuy it? If you like it enough, it'll be worth the rebuy. If you finish it up and you're like, oh, well, maybe it wasn't worth the full price, then don't buy it again. Just enjoy it while you have it. And I need to get that through my thick cat ears. <laughs> just enjoy what you have while you have it before it goes bad because I don't even know what the uh, shelf life on this thing is. But I like this because it is actually light enough that I don't really have to mix it. I can use just this and I don't have to mix it in the morning. It's very fast to apply. The only thing is that it's hard to tell like what kind of progress you're making on this. You can kind of tell when you shake it, but I feel like I'm not really going to know where I am until I finish it, until it just stops spraying out. The next product I really want to pan is a concealer. I hope you're seeing like a theme here. For me, the products that I enjoy panning, the one that I know that I can pan, are those everyday go-to base products. Because I already have a pan that palette, so I wasn't going to bring in like a palette or anything. Anyway, so this concealer, this is the Kylie concealer, no surprise to anybody. This is the shade of Bone. I wanted to pan this because I was already reaching for it almost daily. And those are the products that I know that I won't have any trouble panning. This is just a full coverage, bulletproof, creamy concealer that I use under my eyes and sometimes if the foundation's not a perfect match for me, I can use it on my chin, down my nose, up on my forehead, just to kind of lighten up a foundation if it's too dark. 
or to bring it more into my skin tone if it's too light. I just really like this concealer. I've also used it to do some eye work, to do like a cut crease, and it worked on my eye as well. Just overall, very impressed by this. And I have three tubes, so I, I need... This is probably going to be a staple in my projects for like the next year. <laughs> The next product I want to pan is also another higher-end luxury product. This is from Natasha Denona, and this is her Invisible HD Face Powder and 01 Light Medium. I pulled the um, sifter out of this because this is, even with the sifter in, this was one of the messiest powders I've ever had. And this is Natasha Denona. So if powder fell on my vanity, I was scooping that powder up, and I was using it. <laughs> But it's an amazing powder. I love it under my eyes. It, it gives me like this cooling sensation whenever I put it on and I only get it like right here. I can also use this. It's not too light for me to use on my chin around like my troublesome oily areas. I can set my whole face with this, which makes me think it'll be very easy to pan this completely. But again, I've been avoiding it because I like it so much. Don't avoid the things that you like, Monica. Use them. <laughs> So right now I'm about halfway through the powder, so I don't think I'll have any problems using this up by December 21st. Alrighty, and my last two products are Depotted and they're in this little Z palette from ColourPop. So I have my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer right here in the original bronzer shade. And then I have my Sexy Mama Translucent Powder from The Balm. I already have significant pan on both of these products because they're among my holy grail products. And I just want to finish these up because I do have backups of both of these already in my collection. Since I do have so much pan on these products, I really want to repress these because it's getting a little bit difficult to use the bronzer. I'm not getting an even coating on my brush just because of the way it's now just around the ring of the pan. So I really need to repress that one. And I know the powder, I'm going to have issues once I start using more of it up because once it gets really thin around the edges, it's just really hard to get onto your brush. So I will be repressing both of these, but just as my starting point, that's about the amount of pan that I have on both of these products. Now I know we already went through six products. I'm throwing in a bonus just because it's a carryover from my last project pan. And if you saw my finale for my finished five by fall, you'll know what this is. This is my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Since that finale, I've actually hit like pan on the bottom of this paint pot and I don't think it'll be any issue for me to just throw this into this project and also finish it up by December 21st because now that I've seen the bottom of the container I'm pretty sure that I can use it up by December. I don't think I gave myself enough time I might have been a little bit too ambitious thinking I could finish up half a paint pot in just a couple of months because I don't give them enough credit but these are really worth the money from MAC. They're around $20, which at first you think, oh, it's a single pot eyeshadow. That's a lot of money. It's not for how long you're going to have this in your collection. Seriously, I've had this for about a year. And even though I've, I've been using it almost every day for a few months now, and I'm still not done with it. These are among the best eye primers. They're among the best bang for your buck. And if you save the containers, you can back to Mac them, which is what I'm hoping to do once I finish this one up. So those are my finished six by Solstice products along with a bonus. Thank you so much, Angela, for suggesting this to me and for coming up with that adorable name. I'm really excited to see how this project is going to go. Again, I will be doing monthly updates up until the finale on December 21st. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Angela's Instagram. I will link down below, and I hope I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.